Welcome to my channel. So today's video has to do with temperatures of soil. And this is a temperature gun. And we're gonna show you the differences in temperature. This is bare ground, it's about 87 degrees in the sun. Here's bare ground, 138 degrees. Okay, that's pretty extreme for a plant. Here's a, a wooden wall. Okay, it's about 105 right now, okay? Yesterday, that was 147. Pretty extreme for soils and walls. So, here's a mulched garden bed, okay? And the mulched garden bed is gonna come out to about 138 degrees, roughly, give or take, 129, 127, whatever in the 130 range <clears throat> and then we're going to move back the wood chips and straw and stuff and look just a few inches down okay and the temperature a few inches down is 93 degrees okay not bad 91 okay. it's a huge difference we're going to come over to some straw. And straw is, survey says, straw is about 106 degrees, 107. We're going to move the straw away and look at the bare ground. And the bare ground underneath the straw is 87 degrees. So it's a pretty good difference, just some straw covering the ground. This is why we use straw and mulch and wood chips is to identify how hot the soil is and how to reduce the heat of the soil inexpensively. Okay, so the ground is about 122 degrees. Okay, and right next to it, there's some plants and the plants are, ooh, 130 degrees, 128. Okay, now there's some straw, some mulch. We're gonna move over here and look at that. Okay. 87, 88. Okay, so that's a huge difference in a couple of inches. Just straw. And uh, we need to know about these things because this is how we protect our water sources. What would evaporate faster? Soil temperatures at, let's see, 159 degrees. 159 degrees soil temperature. This is bare soil. There's nothing on this soil, okay? We go over a few inches to a plant, okay? We look again, and 148 degrees where the plant is. That's significant difference in temperature. A few inches over and we get some shade. 140 turns to 98. That is a significant difference just from some shade, okay? Here's the shade of a tree okay we're talking 81 degrees this is much better 78 degrees this is much better than 152 degrees a few feet away okay now here's a wet spot in the landscape pretty obvious because there's a lot of plants okay and we are getting temperatures of 76 degrees it's about 10 degrees cooler than ambient air temperature, and that's significant. Okay, so bare soil under shade. Okay, bare soil under shade, 78 degrees. Okay, covered soil under shade. Okay, 79, 78 degrees, about the same, roughly. Grass covered soil, 74 degrees. Not too bad, that's about four degrees less. Then we go into pure sunshine again. And we're looking at 90 degrees, 92 degrees, somewhere in there. And then the straw should be hotter. And the straw is 124 degrees, okay? But then we move the straw. Go to bare soil, well, this is wood chip covered soil. 
and it comes down to 75 degrees. So 123 degrees on top of the straw, 75 degrees underneath the straw. This is how we maintain soil moisture without cost. We reduce the ambient temperature by using an insulator such as wood chips and straw to go from bare dirt, which is 138 degrees to something that's not bare dirt is wood chips. You're gonna move about four inches of wood chips aside and it comes out to 80 degrees. So what do you want on your soil? You want bare soil for your plants at bare soil at 138 degrees? Or do you want 76 degrees with covered soil? It's a very important lesson on what to do with soil temperature. Have a great day.